is just a quick tips on a Ford E450. Applies to any of the Ford six liter engines. So I did all eight injectors in this thing. Uh, resealed the oil rail, dummy plugs, stand pipes. Uh, and when I went to start it, it had a no start. Uh, I know when you change uh, any of the injectors and the oil rails, it takes quite a bit of a crank, but I didn't expect it to be that long. It took about two minutes to get it started of continuous cranking, so make sure you hook your batteries up to a booster. And also, you need to take it for a good test drive. Uh, so I let it run for about half an hour once I finally got it started. I still had a long crank. And what I found was Ford recommends you do a good long hard drive like where you're going full throttle down and once I did that now it starts right up I think the Ford spec is three seconds of normal cranking so we'll just see here and she starts right up and the reason I'm making this video is because I thought maybe I messed up the IPR, maybe some junk went through it when I was uh, changing the injectors. So before you do that, make sure you go for a hard test drive after replacing injectors or doing any oil rail work. And then if that still doesn't do it, then go after the IPR or possibly another leak.